our top story today uh, is is such an interesting story that broke this morning. It's, it's not necessarily, it's an ongoing story, not news, but uh, at 17, he was the first person to hack the iPhone, and now George Hotz has created a self-driving car in his garage, according to Ashley Vance, uh, writing in Bloomberg Business. Now, uh, it's a 2016 Acura ILX uh, with a dash cam and LiDAR on the roof. Uh, it seems super dangerous. I'm shocked that Ashley Vance got in the car with him. What do you think, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have uh, gotten in that car either. I mean, nothing against George. He's a super, super smart guy. But when you look in the dashboard of this thing, in the glove box rather, there's an Amazon Basics four-port USB hub. I mean, that scares me right there. I, you know, that's just not what I want managing the computing bits of my driving car. <laughs> uh, and Ashley Vance, of course, uh, was the reporter who this year wrote uh, Elon Musk's biography. It was one of the, uh, the most interesting books that I read this year. Uh, and so he he's a great person to profile uh, George Hotz because he is very Elon Musk-like and also uh, has been going back and forth with Elon Musk about working for him and I guess turned down a job. He says he's going to take on Tesla, do it himself. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might have taken the uh, the job offer if I were him because, you know, the resources that Elon Musk has are just, you know, pretty much out of this world. And, you know, nothing against, again, George, but working out of your basement with an Acura and a dash cam and LiDAR and hacking it all, cobbling it all together. I mean, I just think you're going to be able to do more on a larger scale if you're working for uh, for Musk. But kudos to, to George. I mean, he's, he's done an amazing project here and he's, he's not giving up. I mean, he's basically not going to go work for Musk. He's going to keep getting this thing out the door. Right, and he profiles the the level, all the levels of, uh, to get to full autonomous uh, vehicles. Mm -hmm. I think he's talking about level three, which is mostly the driver assistance technology uh, that, and he wants to challenge Mobileye, which is a, the Israeli company that they supply Tesla and BMW and Ford and General Motors with all of their uh, driver's assistance technology, driver assist technology. And he, he says he can do it better. He says they're behind. Interesting, too. I just read an article yesterday about how the, the cost of all these components are coming way down in price now. And that uh, Elon Musk specifically doesn't really believe in LIDAR. He thinks that uh, cameras and, and sensors are good enough. So uh, George is taking a slightly different approach anyway than Elon with all this. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, today was the, the day for self-driving car news. The other big news was that Bloomberg said that Google will launch a standalone self-driving car unit uh, within Alphabet, of course, we know that Google has lots of self-driving, you know, cars out there that they've been testing for a long time. But this is the first that we've heard that there will be a whole unit within Alphabet devoted to autonomous vehicles. That, that's a smart move, I think. I mean, they're obviously, since they made the whole Alphabet change, they're really trying to segregate their different lines of business. And this doesn't fit in, say, with Google search and so on. I mean, yes, it uses data, but no, I, I think it's a smart move. I think so too. And also Ford uh, also announced that they will be, this was more of an announcement. The Google story was more of a rumor according to sources familiar with the matter, but but Ford announced that they will be uh, putting their self-driving cars on the road, testing them in 2016.